Welcome to Tech Info with Narsim Ha channel. Don't skip the video see to the end and like share comment and subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get my latest video notification. Hello friends. In this video we are going to learn about the types of rain gauges. So how many types of rain gauges are there and how it is working. Everything we will learn in this. So there are two types of rain gauges non recording type one recording type so non recording type rain gauge is nothing for example is simpson's rain gauge this is the only one rain gauge used in meteorological department for finding out the rain rainfall etc etc so non recording type rain gauge is the most common type of rain gauge used by meteorological department it consists of a cylindrical vessel 127 mm in diameter with a base enlarged to 210 mm diameter so you can see here this is a simpson rain gauge diagram so this is the 210 mm the top one is 127 mm so there is a funnel here and the body and the receiver bottle is a bottle which is of a 30 cm etc so you can see this is the meat reading of this so this is a base so a receiving bottle has a capacity of 100 mm and during heavy rainfall the amount of rainfall is frequently exceeds so the re reading should be measured 3 to 4 times in a day water content in this receiving bottle is measured by gr graduated measuring glass and accuracy up to 0 to 1 mm for uniformly the rainfall is measured every day at 8.30 am IST and is recorded as rainfall of the day so you can see this is the measuring measuring jar from this we will measure how much rainfall has been there in bottle so on the proper care maintenance and inspection of rain gas especially during dry weather is necessary keep the instrument free form dust and dirt so that the readings are accurate to get the accurate first of all we have to clean the device we have to keep the safe we have to take a safeguard out this so the next one is recording type rain gas so recording type rain gas are three types weighing bucket type dripping bucket type and the floating or natural siphon type rain gas so we will learn detail about these three so one is a weighing bucket type so you can see this bucket here it is and in this bucket there is a weighing balance collecting bucket there is a weighing balance here so this is a receiving bucket and below there is a pan to keep bucket and the pan connected to weighing machine a panam is connected to weighing machine if any rain occurs then the water falls on the bucket and then the weighing machine gets some value and that the panam rotates and makes some graph so you can see this is a penum it's rotating making some graph here then we will know how much intensity the rainfall is occurred on the time this is the procedure of this bucket the next one is the tripping bucket tipping bucket type rain gas so in this what we will do is so here the receiving vessel is 30 centimeter sorry 30 mm when connected funnel 0.25 depth of water is tipping bucket in between tripping bucket there will be a graph as you can see here the funnel and this tipping bucket there is a storage tank and there is a measuring tube is here and there is a panam with clock driven drum and drink funnel and reservoir is also kept here so you can see this so next one is a floating so in floating nothing but this will always in closed condition the siphon is always in closed condition if any excess water comes then the siphon will be open then the water is sent outside for that we are using this siphon unit only for that only we use to siphon so first of all if rain falls this is a funnel when rain occurs then the water comes from the funnel and fall here then this floating rod will float and at some distance it will float then this pen arm will rotate and just some graph has been drawn 
then we will find the intensity how much intensity the rain occurred so this is the theory of this concept so we will use only the rain gauges only non recording rain gauges in india we used to use why because these recording rain gauges are not accurately known why because we don't know whether it is correct or not also we don't know it is only it is doing act it is automatically it is doing whether in non recording rain gauges we are doing the experiments then we can know that is a value which may okay it may come in automatically the value is given by the mechanism that mechanism of the experiment is only automatically it is done but for example as we can see this is a floating bucket the everything is doing this this system only everything is been going this device is doing then we are not doing we don't know whether it is accurate or not so that's why in india and other in other countries only non recording rain gauges are using nowadays so these are the very important thank you please subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get my latest video notifications and like this video and share this video thank you please like and share the video and subscribe my channel